Mr. Shibley. Thank you, everyone. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness that none is worthy of worship but God, and that Muhammad, Abraham, Jesus, Moses are all servants and messengers of God. Before we can discuss what is, how Islam influences the ballot box, I think it's very important that we understand what Islam is about, what Muslims believe in. And this is especially important in these times when studies like the Gallup poll show that about half of Americans who have never met a Muslim have uh, believed that Muslims should have special ID cards, which is very similar to what the Jews had to wear in Germany before the Holocaust. And this is all resulting from ignorance, because ignorance leads to misunderstanding, which leads to fear, which leads to hatred, which then leads to violence and discrimination. So with that, I want to give a, a brief one to two minute introduction about what Islam is, and then we'll continue the discussion at, with the panel about how our faiths influence the ballot box. Islam comes from two root words, salam and istislam. Salam means peace, and istislam means submission. So Islam is not a noun, but it is a verb, it's an action, it's a way of life. It is the process of attaining peace through submission to God, who we believe wants what's best for us and knows what's best for us. Uh, Muslims believe God is all-powerful, almighty, um, all-knowing, all-capable, unlike any created thing, but yet so, so loving to his creation. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, all the creation are the dependents of God, and the most beloved of the dependents of God are those that are best to the dependents of God. So, Islam means peace and submission to God, and a Muslim simply means the one who submits himself to God. We got that name, we believe, from our forefather Abraham. The Quran says, it is the way of your father Abraham, he is the one who called you the Muslims, he is the one who called you those who submit to God. Uh, with that being said, Islam advocates really two important areas of rights. We believe there are God's rights and human rights. So God's rights are that we recognize Him. In fact, the Quran says we did not create uh, human beings except that they worship God or other scholars have said so that we come to know our Creator. So we believe in the all-powerful Creator and that He has rights over us, that we recognize Him, we love Him, we are grateful to Him, we thank Him. And then there are human rights. Human rights are that we treat each other with peace, love, justice, equality, helpfulness. And Islam actually teaches that in many cases, human rights are greater than God's rights. Because God's rights are based on infinity. So that if we ignore God, He is not hurt the least. But if we hurt each other, then we've truly caused a great injustice. The Prophet said that the bankrupt person is the one who worships God greatly, but he has hurt his fellow man. And that sort of takes us back to our theme that it is not enough that we simply worship God in our places of worship, but we live a life of doing good to others and using all the avenues to promote a better world, whether it, it is through community service or the political uh, process. And finally, as Muslims, we of course don't believe that God sent different religions to humanity. We believe God always sent that same message, attain peace through submission to God. He sent it through Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. And each prophet is a brother of the prophet before him. Each came to remind people of that message. Remember, you will all return to God. So love him, worship him, and be good to your fellow human beings. And that's why we honor all those prophets, and we believe in all the holy books, but our main guide in our life, our primary guide, we believe is the Qur'an, which we believe is the literal word of God. And we accept all the previous scripture, but we believe they were all changed throughout history. And the reason we follow the Qur'an is we believe it was the final revelation from God, which has never uh, changed. I studied the Qur'an from my teacher, who studied it from his teacher, who studied it from his teacher, who studied it from the Prophet Muhammad in an unbroken chain. So in short, Islam came to regulate our relationship with God and our relationship with each other to promote a tolerant, loving, peaceful, and just society. Thank you.